We're on Mikvah Oper Chet Mishnah Aleph. First Mishnah in the eighth chapter of Masechet. Now, this, this uh, Mishnah deals with a very interesting question. When you go to a Mikvah, so nowadays you go to a Mikvah, you assume somebody is like you, you know, the reason all the Mikvahot are there for purposes of Tuma and Tara, for purposes of, women, of mostly women going to the Mikvah or men going to the Mikvah. So you assume it's a kosher Mikvah. But uh, back in, and I, 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 I don't know if there's like a, there's not a vad hechsha, but you assume that there's a local rabbi, that there's a rabbinate, that there's some posek, that the mikvah is kosher. Like in Eretz Yisrael, how would you know back then, the times of the Mishnah, mikvah od, wells of water, were used for a lot of different purposes. How would you know that the water is not drawn water? How would you know? I mean, people used to bathe in the mikvah od. It was a bathing area, so it was both for bathing and for tuma and tara. How would you know the mikvah is a kosher mikvah? Says the Mishnah. Eretz Yisrael Torah, the land of Israel is Torah, even Ayarot Shukutim, the non Jewish cities. Why? Shelo Gazru Tuma El Al Eretz Amim Chusaretz. Chachamim Chazam made a gzeira of Tuma on Chusaretz. So, the land of Israel is Torah. I'm not sure why I had to say that, but Umikvaotea Torim. The mikvaot of, the, of, uh, of uh, Eretz Yisrael are also Torim. Let's look at the Bar Tenura. You don't have a chazaka or an established uh, reality that they're shuvim. So you can assume stam that they're done beheksher. They're done heksher. Mikvaot amim shebechusaretz. What are the mikvaot amim of the non-Jews in chusaretz? So they call them mikvaot. I guess or, you know it's an it's an error. Nowadays, mikvah specifically refers to a halachic uh, kosher mikvah. But back then, a mikvah was a bath, a bathhouse, a, you know, a place where mikavu hamayim, the water was gathered. Water gathering place. So, mikvot amim, the nation's mikvot in Chusaretz. Kshevim the Bali Karyan. So, they're kosher, but only for a Baal Keri. A Baal Keri is a man who had a, 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 a nocturnal emission. We'll see in the next Mishnah in greater detail. Okay, a, a Baal Keri. So, that person, before he could daven, before he could pray, before he could learn Torah, in the times of the Mishnah, that Xerah that a Baal Keri was. So, by the way, a nocturnal emission is not just somebody who saw like a nocturnal emission, emission at night. But someone who had uh, who had um, um, intimate marital relations with his wife, or with not his wife, whatever. Nonetheless, that person was called a Baal Keri. So you couldn't learn or study or daven or pray or even you know or the mission bracha talks about these things until you went to the mikvah. So what kind of mikvah did you have to go to? A filo nit ma'alub kilon, even if filled with kilon with pipe water. Says about Tenura. Why are those uh, mikvahs in the land in the Eretz Amim are okay for Baal Keri? to study Torah. The Balkari asur b'divrei Torah at shidbol. As we said, a Balkari cannot study Torah until he is tov until he goes to the mikvah. V'chi tavil afilu b'mikvah shakol meimav sheuvin mutar. But it's a it's a it's a much lower level of mikvah. Even if all water is mayim sheuvin, you can go to the swimming pool. That's not a problem at all, and it's all good. It needs malo b'kilon. It's filled with a kilon. A kilon, I think, is a is a pipe. I translated. But Kahati says, um. I'm wrong. Kilon is, I'm sorry about that, Bor Amok, deep, a deep well. Shemeg Shami Mit Kansimbo. So, but then you have to like, you have to fill it up with your, with your Maim Shuv, you fill it up with your, with your bucket. Okay. Shazat and Eretz Amim. So Eretz Amim, you have to assume it's not a kosher mikvah. It's okay for a Balkari, but it's like a swimming pool. Shebe Eretz Yisrael, what about Eretz Yisrael? Shechutz la Mafteach, outside of the Mafteach. What's the Mafteach? So he says it's outside of the, the entrance to the Medina, meaning the city. So outside of the entrance of the city. So if it's outside the city, it's kosher for Nidot. And Nidot is a din to Oraita. So therefore you add din karet. So to, for a woman who's a Nida to be muterat leba'ala, that's a very serious thing. The Bartunura says, we're not afraid. Let's look at the Bartunura. Even though it's a karet. V'lo chayshin ha'shem ha'chaseyim hayu. We're not afraid. Maybe it was short. It was not the right amount of water. And then they filled it up. Why? Because so, outside of the community entrance, outside of the cities, not a lot of people go there. So it wasn't a bathhouse. So if you, if, if you had to, wanted to go wash in that mikvah, it was obviously you went for purposes of halacha. Okay, but, but inside the mafteach, inside the entrance of the cities, Ksherim, the Baalei Karyan, Karyan, they're okay for Baal Keri, because it's like a swimming pool, it's a bath. Upsulin l'chol ha-tmeim, but for all the Tmeim, it's no good. Why? Too many people, the Bartunerists are there, and they and they have to refill it. But no, and he says, interesting also, okay, Malim uh, Bekatev, they fill it with Bekatev, i.e. with Maim Shuvim, drawn water. Benodim sham l'chabes v'lichos, so they also wash their clothes, and they also go to the, meaning that it's their bathhouse. 
So by the way, you can just imagine the water got gross all the time, which is, which is relevant to what I said in the last Mishnah. Even outside the city, those that are close to the city and to the to the road, to Me'im. Why? Because everybody goes there. Because of laundry. Everybody's in the laundry there, and therefore the water gets gross. They have to refill the water all the time. But if they're far from the city, then to Orim, because nobody else goes there, because nobody wants to go there, uh, and you don't have to worry that people refilled it. The Bartonur says, so I guess you would say outside the city. But it raises a really interesting question. What system did they have, if any, did they have a place to know whether a mikvah was usable for halachically or not? We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to memory of my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.